So we know that the average CEO reads 60 books per year while the average employee reads just two. So there's honestly no arguing the benefits of reading and how it can make you a more successful individual. But the problem that a lot of people are running into these days in this busy lifestyle that most of us have is who actually has time to sit down and crack open a book and just spend time reading. So in the world we live in today, things that are multitask friendly are really growing in popularity. And that is why so many people are switching over to Audible rather than reading books in their physical form or using e-readers and tablets. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my own personal experience as an Audible customer over the last 18 months in this video review today. Now, if you guys do decide at the end of this video that you wanna sign up for an Audible subscription, if you use the link in the description below, you're going to get a completely free 30-day trial of Audible, and the very first audiobook is going to be completely free. So you can literally test drive it yourself, give it a shot, see if you're going to use it, and just for full disclosure, I am affiliated with Audible, so if you do use my link, I earn a commission in the process. And I do thank you for that as it helps to support me for putting this review together. So guys, it's honestly completely risk-free. And at the end of the day, worst case scenario, you cancel your subscription and you keep that audiobook that they gave you 100% free. Or best case scenario, you find that Audible is a good fit for your daily or weekly routine and you begin consuming more books out there, which is known to make people more successful individuals. So first of all, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the pricing of Audible and how much money you will be spending on your subscription. So the basic Audible plan is called the Gold Plan and that costs $14.95 per month. And what you're going to be getting with this plan is one Audible credit per month plus two free Audible originals. And in a little bit here, we're gonna open up my Audible app and I'll show you guys exactly what those look like. Now, if you're looking to save some money and get a better bang for your buck, you can actually pay for your entire Audible Gold subscription upfront and that's going to cost you $149.50 and that is going to effectively give you two free months of Audible because you're paying for everything upfront rather than $14.95 per month. When you do that, you're gonna get all 12 of your credits up front and you can spend them as you please. Now, if you are looking for more Audible credits, the Platinum Plan may be a good fit for you and that costs $22.95 per month or if you pay for it up front for the whole year, it is $229.50. The difference between Platinum and Gold is that with that Platinum Plan, you're getting two Audible credits per month instead of just one. Now, like anything else out there, guys, if you actually use these Audible credits and purchase audiobooks with them, it is going to save you money, as opposed to the cost of going out there and buying just the audiobook rather than using Audible. So for example, let's take a look at the book 50 Shades of Grey. Uh, it's a very popular you know, romance book out there. So if you used an Audible credit to purchase this book, it would cost you the cost of one credit, which is $14.95. Now, if instead you bought this audiobook on Amazon directly, it would cost you $33.60. So in the case of 50 Shades of Grey, you're saving more than 50% by using your Audible subscription and using one of your credits. Now, as far as those credits go, you can save them up over the course of a couple months. However, do keep in mind that these credits do expire one year after they are issued. So you're going to want to keep track of those credits. And if you find you're not using them, at least redeem them for books that you can listen to later. Because once you redeem an Audible credit for a book in your library, that is your book forever, even if you decide to cancel. And believe it or not, guys, another awesome feature of Audible is if you purchase an audiobook with one of your credits and then you decide that you just don't like this book, you can actually get a refund and get your credit back and purchase a different audiobook. So even if you make a decision, you don't have to 100% commit to it, which is an awesome feature that they offer here. So now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to open up the Audible app on my phone and I'm going to give you guys a quick tour to show you what it looks like. 
So as you can see guys, up top, those are the two books I'm currently listening to. One is the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. I bought that one, that was one of the first audiobooks I purchased, and I've been re-listening to that book. Uh, and then my second book here is a new one called The 12 Rules for Life. That's one I've been listening to as well. So you can play multiple books at a time, and it will save your progress as far as how far you are in that book. I've also purchased a number of different books. Uh, I have Tony Robbins here, if we go to my live you can see all the different books I've purchased and finished. And since I hadn't used Audible over the summer, I did accumulate some credits, and that is why I currently have six credits available. As far as actually playing your audiobooks, guys, it's really simple. You just go ahead and click on the book, and it's going to start playing wherever you left off. You can skip ahead 30 seconds or skip behind if you find that you zoned out for a certain section of the book. And another very handy feature that I use as well is I actually play my audiobooks on 1.25x speed just because I find that it actually is a better speed for me to digest the information. Now you can play them slower or faster depending on your own personal tastes. And then the one other thing I wanna show you guys within the app is the Audible Originals because every single month you get two of these for free. So if we click over to the Audible Originals tab, you'll see I have two free Audible Originals for this month. I haven't redeemed them yet, but you have seven different books to pick from here, and I'll show you guys what these options are. So since it's the month of December, you got a couple of holiday options, uh, and then you have some other ones here as well that you could choose from. Uh, from my experience, I've only ever seen fiction books here, and I personally use Audible to listen to nonfiction books. But if you are somebody looking for this type of uh, you know, uh, literature, it is available here, and you get two of these free every single month. So is having an Audible subscription worth it? Well, at the end of the day, it's very similar to having a gym membership. If you have a gym membership and you actually use it, it is 100% worth it. However, if you have a gym membership and you never go, it's really just going to be a waste of money. So if you're actually going to commit to using your Audible credits and listening to audiobooks as opposed to, you know, music or whatever it may be, or listening to audiobooks while you're driving or multitasking, it is 100% going to be worth it because it's proven that reading more books contributes to your success. And just from personal experience, I will tell you guys that even though I stopped using Audible over the summer, I have been consistently using it over the last year and a half. And listening to audiobooks while I'm at the gym has been a huge game changer for me because I find I actually look forward to working out and I find that I'm killing two birds with one stone because not only am I doing something that's good for my body, I'm also training my brain and learning and developing new skills that will help me to be more successful. Now the pros for using Audible are pretty obvious here guys. It's more convenient than going out there and reading physical books, it's multitask friendly, and it's honestly better for the environment than printing out all of these different books. Another pro is the fact that you get to keep all of your books that are in your library even if you decide to cancel your membership, and you can get a refund if you purchase an audiobook and then decide it's just not for you, and of course, the first book is free with Audible if you use the link down in the description below. Now that being said, there are two cons to using Audible that I wanna share with you. Number one, the fact that credits expire after one year is kind of annoying, and if you're not keeping track of it, you could have these credits expire. That is why it's so important to keep track of your credits and make sure you're actually using them. At the very least, redeem them for something and leave it sitting in your library. And the second con is that there's no easy way to share these books with friends and family. If you go out there and buy a physical book, you can loan it out to your friends or loan it out to a family member easily, and you just can't do that with an Audible audio book. So that being said, guys, all in all here, I think my Audible subscription is 100% worth it for me, and pretty much every single one of my family members who I've recommended it to are also a huge fan of it. But at the end of the day, it simply comes down to if you actually use it, it's going to be worth it. But if you're not gonna use it, it's probably just going to be something that is uh, you know, draining money from your bank account. So if you're going to use Audible, actually commit to using it and benefiting your life or using it as a source of entertainment, you know, outside of television or, you know, just simply going on your phone or listening to music. So if you guys want to give it a shot, the link in the description below means that first 
audiobook is free with that 30-day trial. Plus, you'll get two free Audible originals, so you can give it a shot 100% free, no strings attached. Thanks so much for watching this review. I hope it helped you out, and I will see you in the next video.